Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I mentioned that I wanted to cover and review this um, Facebook scam that I saw that uh, someone was trying to fish one of my clients with. My apologies for the crudity of my setup. And uh, if you're trying to use cubes in a good secure method, there are way better ways than I'm doing this. I'm only doing it in this method because one... I know this is a fairly low priority, like a, it, I, I have a small chance of, of having a serious problem. And uh, secondly, the, uh, the only reason I'm doing it in this method is to be able to do screen recording. If I was just doing this for my own curiosity, I wouldn't worry about this. So in cubes, I'm using the untrusted cube, not the um, disposable cube, which I should be using the disposable, but I did not have the ability to get the screen recorder set up and I don't want to have to pipe the raw audio feed on up. We're in cubes using the untrusted and I will simply kill the untrusted at the end of this if I think I need to. But what we're going to do here is um, I received an email. I'll show you that on the screen. I don't have a copy of the email here. And uh, this happened just about uh, a day after I had actually started to run an ad buy for my client. They get a message. It's like, hey, there was a problem with your ad buy. I click here. And I looked at the thing. And I said, don't click anything. That's a phishing scam. It's very interesting that we get a phishing scam right after we do ads. So it tells me running ads on Facebook is not safe. So uh, I said, you know, let me look into it a little bit further because if there's a legitimate problem, not only will we get an email, we will get something in Facebook. So I logged into the Facebook account for the client. And I went over, the ad is running, they're taking money, it's generating clicks, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But when we go into our messages, we have several of these messages. So, uh, hold on, that's a, there you go. Let's make this so that it doesn't distort itself. So we received six different messages here, and they're all basically the same thing. Jamie Floyd, Teresa Peterson, Eugene Massery. This guy was already banned. We have Charles Chen and Amy White. This is Amy White's message here. Now, they're all using these generic, this is a support. This guy is a similar support. This is a similar support. I don't know what this guy was using. This one says, hello, admin. I'm the Facebook business support bot. I'm contacting you. Confirm this site belongs to you. And is being used normally after 24 hours of not receiving a response. We will temporarily lock the page. Click your information here. Very fascinating. And then um, here is, what's this one? Uh, hold on. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to pull up each, each image manually here in cubes. All right, so here's the next one. This was from Eugene Massery. Eugene Massery, your page was flagged for going against our page policy. It includes restrictions around sharing and distributing. You must not accept anything. Basically, all these types of things. It sounds like a legit big tech violation, you know. Click here uh, to submit your appeal. And then I clicked in on Amy White's profile. You can see Amy White's clearly a legit profile, right? Um, you know, zero followers, zero users, uh, of course, I flagged all these guys. Now, we went ahead and uh, copied all of the individual links that they were giving us. And uh, here, are the, here are those links. So here's Amy White. This is the link they were trying to send us to. And this is the link with the ad tracking. So when you are responding to these types of things, you have to be very careful not to click the links they give you because everything these days contains trackers. I had another client that sent me an email from one of those copyright trolls. And the copyright troll basically says, hey, we think you're using one of our images. Here's where it is. Well, if you click the link in the email to see what they're talking about, they have a record of you clicking the link. So it verifies them if they are taking you to court for some stupid reason, then they are they have the evidence that you saw and clicked it. Whereas if you just look at the information, you can extract the link they're trying to send you to without any of the trackers. You can see what the thing is without actually triggering something back. So that's what we're seeing here. This is, I'm, I don't know if this is a Facebook link shortener or what. It is, it does appear based on this root domain to be on Facebook's account. Uh, and I have this set so we can actually see if there's any funky odd characters in here. So Apparently, this is probably a way Facebook is tracking accounts, and then it's going to the link, and then this like percent two indicates it's a space, so you can see, or uh, a slash in this case, 
and then link slash, and then there's help underscore contact. And then after this is part of the tracking code. And then you'll get on and you'll see this ampersand. This ampersand tells you that this is some other tracking code. Now I noticed that this tracking code and this tracking code and this tracking code are all the same, which tells me all three of these users are sending me something tied to the same general campaign. They're trying to see if they're getting any responses. If you're clicking these links, they're going to know about it. Now, uh, for the security of the client and to make sure there's no, no funkiness going around, I actually edited all of these in the same way, but I kept the general format of everything just so uh, if somebody did copy and paste us down to verify, it would actually take you a different tracker. So. Uh, just, just to know, um, this one here actually had, or it, it was one of these two, either Eugene or Teresa. It might have been Eugene here. This was uh, the profile page for that. Seemed to be a little p-wordy. Um, th there were some some risque images that were kind of blurred out on Facebook. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure I know where they're trying to send me to. But what's interesting is they're trying to use this identity info here. And it looks to me like this, this is probably some group probably shut down by now. It's been about a week since I gathered this information. Since this is not directly on Facebook, my guess is this is just some phishing website. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at this. Now I'm doing this again. I, this is not the best way to do this because I'm actually just using regular Firefox, not, um, not the uh, the disposable. I'm not. I'm using the the untrusted, not the disposable VM. So I'm not using the Tor browser. I'm using Firefox. But we are still writing, rooting this Firefox through the Tor browser. You can see it is configured to use Tor. I could access Onion servers if I wanted to. Uh, it is giving me an IP address that is not an IP address. JavaScript is disabled. So in the case of this then I kind of know what, uh, I'm fairly confident in what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and see where we go, shall we? <laughs> let's see uh, if this even goes anywhere at all. So, oh, bio link page removed. Oh, bummer. They're removing it. Page inappropriate use of the service. So bio link apparently figures out what they're doing. This is the same link here. This is a similar one at BioLink, but something else. So my guess is like these are going up really quick and then coming down really quick. This is page is also removed. Let's see what BioLink is actually doing as a company itself. Launch your site in seconds. BioLink your name to claim my link. It's free. It takes a minute. Okay. So they're probably, they're probably over here and just entering in names, domains, whatever else just, and they're probably going in and creating a site quickly. They're probably just creating a simple contact form. Uh, I should have done, uh, I should have grabbed these way faster than I thought. Let's see how Facebook is doing. Um, chances are this Facebook group is down and is it still down or is it still up? I can't tell. Uh, this is a different Facebook group. So we'll open this one up in another page. There you go. Uh, this says uh, up here, Facebook verify. Okay. So I they're not actually loading the pages. That might just be because either firewall settings, Tor settings, some other settings. But what I can see up here in the URL bar, hopefully you can see the URL bar. I'm actually not sure you can because this is cubes. But the URL bar tells me that this Facebook page it is um, Facebook verify bar your page was flagged for going against our page policy which includes basically it's the first few words um the system here is not actually allowing me to to uh view that i wonder if uh, i know facebook used to have a tour site facebook on tour let's see if i can track that down and see if they are mapping their urls the same way but that's pretty much all i have uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's, okay, let's do DuckDuckGo. Yeah, I have disabled JavaScript for a very good reason. <laughs> that might actually be the problem. Facebook, uh, JavaScript is disabled. Should I try, let me try doing that first. Let me try re-enabling JavaScript and see if that does it. It's only, it's only Facebook, right? 
what I mean, they they're not data collectors, are they? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, it looks like it's still loading. Oh no, it still just takes me to this blank page. This one's not giving me anything. This one's just giving me that URL bar and so something went wrong. Yeah, they don't like the the Tor or the VPN or the cubes or something else in my setup here. Uh, no, I'm not going to this Facebook page without any form of protection. Come on, man. I need me a, I need me a, a, a net condom. So uh, that's what cubes is being for me here today. But uh, hopefully this helped out to just kind of spot what to look for. Obviously, nothing here is legitimately from Facebook. Um, they're doing tracking campaigns and you can see that, that these three, at least they're giving me the same tracking ID number indicating that they're all tied to the same campaign. These two, of course, are the same pages, right? Let me double check help contact six, nine, oh, eight, three, oh. So these two are the exact same link, exact same message. Uh, however, a slightly different Facebook tracker. This one and this one are a different uh, page. This is probably the same campaign. It's just they recognize their page was taken down too quick. So it's the same, uh, it's the same uh, campaign tracker. It's just a different page there. So uh, there we have it, guys. Um, not a ton of super amazing, useful information other than how to spot a scam. And, uh, you know, obviously, if you uh, if you get back to your Facebook page and uh, people are giving you stuff like this, eh, it's not legit, uh, whether that's in your email or in your Facebook messenger or whatever else. So that's what we have for you. Thanks for watching. And we will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.